Yo people, I'm Sean from the Net Ninja, and this is HTML Basics Lesson 13, the div tag. Now, I know I've used the div tag here and there in previous lessons, but I've never really explained what it's for or what it's about. So that's what this lesson is all about, and we're going to do that right now. So the div tag simply stands for division. And that's essentially what a div tag is all about. It divides sections of code into segments. In essence, we use the div tag to group content into specific sections, and that's what we're going to do now. OK, I'm here back in the index file, exactly where I left it off last time. And like I said, the div tag is used to divide content into specific sections. So say, for example, we have this kind of top bit here, which is the banner and then the welcome text. We could consider that some kind of top section, like a, a a section on its own. We could put a div tag around that. Likewise, this UL tag here, which is the, navi uh, the navigation, we could wrap all this within a div tag too, because it's all one section and it's separate from the top bit. So we're going to start putting some div tags around these things here. So we'll open with a div like that and then close with a div. Copy and paste that to the bottom. And then I'm just going to indent these three lines here by highlighting and clicking tab just for readability and we're going to do exactly the same with other sections on our website so we'll do the ul tag here indent that and then i think this here types of fish we sell i'd consider that a section of its own so i'm going to pop that in a div tag and indent the code in between. I think the about, the about Us section here is worthy of a section of its own, so I'm going to pop that within a div tag too, and indent the code. Oops. And then finally, we've got this Contact Us section at the bottom, which I think also belongs in its own div tag. So there we go. Now, each section on this web page is contained within this division tag. So it's divided into all these different segments. And if I uh, viewed this in a browser right now, it's going to have no visual impact whatsoever. However, when we start using the divs with IDs, classes and CSS, that's when it becomes really useful. We can start applying styles to the elements within each div section. So I think there's three main reasons I'd use a div tag on my HTML document. First of all, it logically divides the content into sections so that it's easier for me as a developer to come back into the code and know where everything is, as well as other developers. If they were to pick up this code and look at it, they can see that it's divided into logical sections and they know where everything is. The second reason is to do with CSS. When we start using CSS, it's going to become a little easier to attach certain styles to elements within the document when they're divided into specific regions, especially when we combine the div tags with IDs and classes, which I'm going to teach you about shortly in probably the next few lessons. Thirdly, it's for semantic reasons. Uh, you're going to see in the next few lessons as we start to use IDs and classes that we can give these different sections that we're dividing in essence, a name or identifier, which kind of represents that area. For example, a header area, which would be this top bit here, or a navigation uh, area, which is going to be this part. So, like I say, div tags themselves have no visual impact on our page, but when we combine these with CSS rules and IDs, that's when it's going to come into play. So, I mean, that's all there is to show you about the div tag itself. Uh, in the next few tutorials, I'm going to talk about IDs, and classes and CSS a little bit more. So we'll expand on these div tags then. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment below and subscribe to these videos.